Welcome to another Tech Stuff Tuesday brought to you by EMFCarAudio.com. In today's video, we're going to look at speaker sensitivity and does it really matter as a spec. And this is going to be a two-parter, uh, the first one being mids, and the sub-video will come later. Uh, so we're only going to focus on the mids. So what we're using for a test base, we have a Rockford M282 8-inch coaxial that I happen to have. We will compare that to our Swag 6.5 inch coaxial. The DMM is connected here so we can show this the same voltage going in on white noise that's being generated by an FM station that has no music playing. Uh, that's what I've got available on this head unit currently. And this analog meter right here, uh, I bought it about 20 years ago. It still works. That should give us a point of reference on what we can find in SPL. This is on the high setting, so we're looking at the red numbers down here, not the blue. Blue would be for the low setting. So I'm going to turn the volume up. We will see what voltage we have going in. Uh, I'm going to straighten out the speaker so it's uh, aimed directly uh, forward. So there'll be a level playing field since these are different sizes, they won't just sit there on their own. And then we'll compare. Worth noting, this mid uh, is an 8 inch. It is rated for 90 dB efficient, or sensitivity as they list it. And the Swag 6.5 is a 6.5 inch. We rate for 92 dB. So we'll see how they actually compare here, going up to full volume. So we're hanging out here right at 96 to 98 dB. There's a slight fluctuation. That is 96 to 98 dB with 0.5 volts. So, our mark there is 96, 98 dB. There was a little bit of fluctuation there. This is not a peak hold. So now I'll swap out the mid and see what we get. There should be a 2 dB difference based on ratings. So now everything is in the same position. We're gonna do the same thing, go up to the same volume, get the same voltage, and check our SPL. And you can see we're floating right at 100 dB. And the voltage is actually fluctuating just a hair uh, between 0.4 and 0.5. So the voltage going in might actually be just a hair less on this one. It was going between 4 and 5, so there's some kind of rounding there. And it was also showing 100 dB versus bouncing right around the 96, 98. So on mids, uh, it does appear that uh, our mid rated for 92 versus the Rockford that's rated for 90 is actually uh, a, a good point to go off of. That is over the full range spectrum. Uh, that's not an individual frequency. That's not across bandwidth. That is with white noise. So you do also have to consider the actual bandwidth. The Swag 6.5s, uh, we rate down to 60 hertz. The Rockford 8s, uh, I believe, are also somewhere in that area. So uh, if you're looking at actual output, if you do see one that's, say, rated for 100 dB or something ridiculous, um, two things to note. One, make sure that it's 1 watt per meter, not 2.83 volts. Or if you're going to compare 2.83 volts, make sure they're both on the same scale. Uh, 1 watt per meter. Um, doesn't matter on the impedance, 2.83 volts does matter what impedance it is. The lower the impedance, the more actual wattage it is. And we'll give you a higher number because it's more than one watt. So look at that when you're considering that. But uh, that also does go to show that just because it's a bigger speaker does not mean it's a louder speaker. We're going from a 6.5 to an 8. The 6.5 showed on the meter 2 dB louder as the rating was. So that is a lesson learned on efficiency. Comment below on any uh, questions that you may have. 
Don't forset, forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you haven't already. Uh, we will have another video with subs doing the same thing with sensitivity. Uh, we'll end up doing it a little bit different way because you can't really use uh, white noise as well with that. Uh, but that will be a second part video. Not sure when we'll do that one, but it will be in the near future. And we'll see you again on Tech Stuff Tuesday.